Welcome to the channel, welcome to the River Thames and this is my first run review of the Allbirds Tree Flyer. Before we get into the run test, I wanted to give you a quick whip round of this shoe and show you what's new about the design. Now, one of the major changes here is that you've got a new midsole foam called Swift Foam. That replaces the Sweet Foam that we found on the Allbirds Dasher. Now, the idea here is that Allbirds are trying to finally create a running shoe that's built actually for racing and daily training and performance and that can compete with other daily trainers out there in the market, but do it using sustainable materials that have a sort of lighter carbon footprint than more traditional kind of petroleum based footwear that we all kind of tend to use right now. Now that big chunk of new Swift foam midsole foam is made from castor beans and that's a renewable natural source. It has a 20% lower carbon footprint than a petroleum based alternative. And Allbirds says that it's 30% more responsive, 25% lighter than the Sweet foam used in the Dasher. And that that's gonna help make this a way better performance shoe. Where this shoe does follow the Dasher in some ways is having a knitted upper. This one is made from eucalyptus tree fibers still. It's a fairly dense mesh. It's quite a th kind of thick knit. It is actually very, very flexible on the toe. It's very sort of loose. You know, some people might sort of say it's actually a bit baggy when you put it on, but you can kind of get lots of wiggle room in the toes. It's a bit of an odd sensation when you first put them on, uh, but it's, it's also fairly breathable. The other thing to say is at the back here, you can see you've got a fairly rigid, solid heel counter, external heel counter. And this is actually made from the recycled materials, the offcuts that we use to go into the midsole foam. So again, all about kind of saving that overall kind of material usage and bringing that carbon footprint down. You've got a fairly minimal heel collar here. There is some sort of padding that goes in the back. It goes sort of down. It's the main bit of padding there is right at the top though. And then it's a little bit less down, down the back, but that's the bit that actually cradles the heel there. You've got a heel pull. And you know, the overall uppers are really in a kind of booty style fit here. This is almost like a sock-like booty. Um, so if you're not into that kind of built-in kind of tongues and sock-like feel wrapping the foot, then this might not be for you. And you've got some fairly sort of durable and rigid looking kind of uh, lace eyelets there and some, some pretty, although they're made from sustainable materials, you've got sort of fairly traditional looking laces here too. Uh, in terms of the overall kind of midsole geometry, you know, it's quite, interesting there's a huge stack of foam here and obviously you've got this kickback heel it's almost a little bit reminiscent of the things that we've seen on the hokers flip them over and you've actually got a really good covering of outsole rubber again I believe that's there to sort of beef up the durability to make these shoes last as long as possible so that when you know the longer they last the better that is for the environment and there's also sort of a reasonable amount of grip here in sort of key areas these are, you almost see you've got sort of fairly sort of almost lug like kind of grip across the whole foot there. When it comes to weight, they weigh in at 269 grams or 9.5 ounces. Drop is 8.5 millimeters. The stack, there's 30.5 millimeters in the heel and 22 millimeters in the forefoot. And this shoe has a carbon footprint of 9.92 kilograms of CO2 per pair. On price, you could expect to pay 150 pounds in the UK, $160 in the US, and this shoe will be available from the 17th of May. So let's talk a little bit about fit of these shoes. When I first put them on, I had a real fear. They felt huge. They're very, very long in the toe. I think that's a bit of a problem here. I'm wearing my UK eight and a half normal size. And there's at least, there's almost like an inch and a half space in the toe box. It's definitely too long. I'd have to size half a size down for sure in these. Across the rest of the foot though, kind of feels okay. Good lockdown fit. Not any kind of heel slippage. That feels nice and comfortable at the moment. Only sort of three miles in, but all of that feels good, but they are definitely a bit long. So if you're considering these, my advice would be to definitely go half a size down. So I'm coming up to two miles in, in the new Allbirds Tree Flyer. Bit surprised now I'm out moving into the sort of second mile, first mile. Well, when you first put these shoes on, actually, it kind of, oh, they feel a bit firm like all the other Allbirds that you get. And I was a little bit worried. I ran a marathon two days ago, so my legs are pretty tired. I was just wondering whether or not these would give me the kind of cushion that I might need on a really slow run today. So I'm doing very, very slow miles, really low heart rate, low pace. And I was worried that they might be too firm on quite tight kind of calves. But it's been a real surprise actually. One mile in, got into a bit of a flow. 
And actually, I think they feel a bit softer than some of the, the tree, the, the old birds dasher. And there's a little bit of spring in them. Up as a nice and kind of flexible. And yeah, so far, two miles in, I'm gonna do about six in this first run. And that's been a real surprise for me. So, so far actually so good. So I've just done four miles now. And these shoes are turning into a massive surprise on really tired legs. When I first put them on, I was kind of dreading because they feel firm when you first step them on and you walk around the house in them. And they, you know, they don't feel altogether sort of natural in some ways. And I was really worried that I'm very tired sort of second day after a marathon legs. And these were going to give me nothing. Be kind of too much ground impact coming up through the bottom. But actually, the opposite has happened. Once I've got moving, my legs have loosened up a little bit. They felt pretty cushioned. And I'm now four miles. I feel like I could run on a lot more, which is, I wasn't expecting at all. I thought I was going to have to sort of eat this run out just to get it done. But they're actually working. I'm in the flow. They're, they're probably the softest all birds I've run in for sure. They feel softer than the dashers. There's much more response and return in these shoes than a lot of the other dashes that I've run in. It doesn't mean that they're kind of a high energy return shoe, they're really not. But to me though, I feel a little bit reminiscent, maybe even of some of those kind of early sort of Nike Freeze, although there's a little bit too, more to them than that in terms of the overall kind of cushioning platform. But it has that same sort of vibe actually with the uppers and those kind of midsoles underneath. The other thing that I was kind of worried about is that kind of big kickback heel. That it's a bit more sort of geometric than something you'll find on the Hokers, but it has that same sort of feel with the you know, I guess the swallow tail, whatever, it's not quite split in the swallow tail way, but just that big extra stack of foam sticking out the back of your shoe. I don't really like that on the Hokers. And I was worried on that that would feel like too much shoe on this, but to be honest, I don't really notice it in the run. I don't really know why it's there. I think the shoes would probably be better without it if I'm really honest, but that's me. I'm a bit more of a mid to four foot striker than a heel striker. But yeah, it's not causing any problems, but which I'm really pleased with. So that is all good as well. So I'm back on the tarmac now. I've just come off the gravel paths. You can feel a little bit of those kind of small stones. Now they're not coming through the shoe, but you're aware of them. So it's not a huge amount of protection if you're going over sort of bigger stones, but they're, they're perfectly fine. One thing I will say is they've also got a really sort of nice sort of wide stable base. I, I, feel, I think that's been great actually for stability. I've got a good platform to run off here. That's not too spongy as well it's not too wobbly you know i can feel the foam sort of compressing those insoles feel soft and kind of there's a little bit of sort of giving them but not too much so yeah overall i mean they are very direct these are this is a very direct shoe all of the all birds shoes are very direct and you know i, I think you're not really probably going to want to go and run too far in these i've done nearly an hour so far I'll probably be an hour and a half by the time i finish i don't think you'd want to push them up to a half marathon but i think for Steady 10Ks, whatever little plods around, these are going to do a fairly good job. And again, we're in that ballpark of, you know, you're talking about a shoe built for sustainability. So you've got to measure this and its performance for sustainability as well. This is the closest I've come, I think, in terms of a sustainable Allbirds shoe. That's one that I think I would want to put on and use for those shorter miles, easy plod daily training. It's not quite there yet but it's getting closer. It's definitely getting closer. So for my run test then, I've just done seven miles on a bit of mixed terrain, classic kind of pavements and tarmac, then some sort of light stony kind of river paths. Seven miles, easy, very, very slow, sort of 120 to 130 heart rate. So for me, that's kind of my kind of very, very easy pace, nine minute, 10 minute miles, that kind of thing. And I have to say, I've been really kind of surprised with these tree flyers. They run the softest of any Allbirds shoe that I've worn, but when you first put them on in the house, they don't feel like that. They feel quite firm, like the other shoes. I'm on kind of tired legs. I ran a marathon just sort of two days ago. So going out, I was a bit worried about how these would perform, sort of tight calves. To be honest, I wasn't really feeling like I wanted to go and run, and I was a bit worried the firmness might not be forgiving enough for the kind of plod that I was about to do. Massive surprise, they ran really nicely for me. I think, you know, nice kind of flexible uppers, comfy wrap in the foot might these are a bit too big i would have gone smaller half size down i think would have got a, a different feel there as well but they're nice and flexible they're nice and airy nice and roomy i had good kind of hold in the heel and the, across the top of the foot the rest of that was all fine and then underfoot was really where there was a surprise because although they are still sort of very direct they are still quite a firm shoe 
in comparison to some of the other shoes out there, this for an Allbirds is actually much, much softer. They're not quite in this bracket, but to me, they almost feel like if you go back to some of the Nike free shoes, those shoes are a little bit more minimal than this. There's a bit more to the kind of stack on these tree flyers and there is a bit more protection in the overall kind of cushioning obviously there's that big kind of heel protrusion as well so it's not like a proper minimal shoe but underfoot there was like a quite a similar sensation just with a little bit more protection now I do feel like as I got into that run I was ticking over I think they protected my feet I do think they kind of protected my legs and I think up to a sort of 10k mark these are a shoe that I would kind of happily run in actually some of the other Allbirds they are, you know, you can run in there a little bit firm, but I think this takes us a little bit closer to kind of a shoe that can do that kind of level of run, you know, not all out kind of pace. I wasn't hammering down on kind of with fast kind of feet into the pavement, but I was kind of plodding, but I think they can handle it. I'm, I'm really surprised. I quite enjoyed running in them. And to be honest, on tired legs where I thought I was gonna have to eat this run out, I actually could have easily run more. And I felt like, I, you know, once I got into my stride with them, that they were great. I don't think I'd choose them first and foremost over other shoes out there for performance. But if you're looking for something that's going to balance sustainability with some, a shoe that will perform up to 10K or all they'll be on a slightly firmer base, I do think these tree flyers have taken us another step kind of closer to a shoe where we've got sustainable materials and a shoe that does perform as you will need it to. So my verdict on the Allbird tree flyer then, really comfy uppers, nice wrap on the foot. I think good stability underfoot which is nice you've got a good kind of platform to run off it's more cushioned than other Allbirds sort of shoes that I've run in but it's still quite firm it's still quite a direct shoe I quite like that underfoot but there is enough protection I think to sort of take you up to 10ks even at a plod I was kind of I wasn't moving kind of on in my finest form I was running quite sort of slow or low heart rate but they were surprised me actually I, I got more out of these shoes than I thought was going to when I put them first on the sensation underfoot when I was kind of walking around the house I was a bit fearful they actually came good I really enjoyed running in them. I ticked over really kind of fine in them. And yeah, I think these are probably Allbirds sort of best shoe that I've run in to date. They're a little bit more minimal than the Dasher. You know, they're not as heavy. They're a bit lighter. They're a bit more agile on the foot. And yeah, I think they did a really solid job. And I think it's a really pleasing thing to see that we're kind of moving closer towards shoes that are made from sustainable materials that are going to perform as we need them to in the run. It'll make that decision about whether or not you go for sustainable shoes over kind of performance shoes null and void because we'll have shoes that do both all birds are moving closer to that i wouldn't say these are quite there yet and i think if you're a casual runner you want a shoe that can handle 10ks and you're going to go steady these are an option if you want a shoe for massive performance then there are obviously still better shoes out there and i think a lot of runners are still going to choose them so there you have it that has been my review of the all birds tree flyer i hope you've enjoyed it if you have any questions about the shoes feel free to hit me in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more reviews that will come up soon. And of course, share it with friends, other runners who think you might find these reviews useful. All helps support the channel, helps me get out and do more of these reviews of all the shoes that we've got to test. So yeah, your support will be gratefully received. It's been a pleasure to talk to you and I hope to see you again soon on the channel.